But people, there's a third problem. Mm, it has begun, it just gets a little more, I won't say complicated, but you know, just more things to do. The section shown is that of a cantilever. It's four meters long, so L is equal to that. Uh, let me just get up. Yeah, L is equal to that, so L is equal to that. Carrying a UDL of three kN per meter, so small W is equal to that, which is applied perpendicular to the XX axis, and of course the XX axis, of course, as always, is sitting sitting over there okay we know that by now but I'm just put it in x x axis as just calculate the maximum bending stress in this in the beam under this loading right so it wants us to find F state the formula see what we got see what we need right M oh what am I doing M M over i is equal to f over y. Right, theory of elastic bending. Can we work at m? Yes, we can. We've got the cantilever there, so there's m. Okay. Now, you're going to find that as we proceed with this this particular section, more and more of the bits we've done in the previous sections, people, we're going to be need to be using it here. Okay. So, more, I'll say again, more of the concept we used in the previous topics we're going to need to be using here to solve a problem here so can we work at m yes we can m we can work at m because we can need to take moments over this point to find that over there okay can we work at i mm, yes we can okay so the rectangle anymore we're going to have to do the bar x bar y i x x i y y okay so we're going to have to work at i x x and if i call that point a we're going to have to work at the moment at A. Do we know what Y is? That's the easy bit. Yes, Y is equal to D over 2. So Y is equal to, so Y is equal to 100. That's easy. Run. So notice here, we're going to first have to work at, we have to take moments about A to find the moment at A. That's going to carry. Because the maximum moment for a UD, for a cantilever is by support there. We're going to have to, um, find the centroid and take, and find IXX using the second moment using the parallel axis theorem to find i x x and once we got y which is d over 2 that's of course y that is d over there so y is d over 2 once we got all of that we can put it here in the equation make f the subject of the formula and it will be job done so you can see it's a bit of work to get to the answer okay so so i'm gonna say the sum sum of the moments at a is equal to zero okay and i'm going to say the moment at a um which is anti-clockwise reaction so it's there plus plus it will be plus three times four times two so okay, is equal to zero so therefore the moment at a is equal to uh, 24 kilonewton meters. And because it's positive, it means that our assumption that it is anti-clockwise. We're not too worried about the way it's going at the moment, but it's 24 kilonewton meters. Okay. Right. So that's done. So, Ixx. Ixx. Right. Do we know what x left and x right is? Yes. Now, when we're taking moments, when we when we're applying a load about x x axis as in here, we are not concerned with x left and x right, which is the same. Why? Because it's the same. we're not concerned with that. Okay. But we are concerned with y top, y bottom. And what is y top and y bottom equal to each other? Yes, they are. Okay. Y top is equal to y bottom is equal to 100 millimeters. So. Let's, so I'm going to use parallel axis theorem, so Ixx plus Ah squared. So you can see that if you struggle with this in section properties, you're not going to be able to do this. You will not be able to solve that. Okay, right. So let me just reduce it slightly and move it, give us some more space. Right. So let's see. So it's equal to, so I'm going to make that element 1. And that's going to be also element 1 because it's the same. Make it element 2. So element 1 
What's the formula for the second moment of area of a rectangle? It is BD cubed over 12. What's B? Oh, sorry, I didn't give you the dimension. What's B? Let's see, let's see. Uh, that is, sorry, that is 100 millimeters. Okay, that's 100. That's 100 there. Top and bottom, my apologies. So, it's 100 times 20 cubed of 12 plus the area. What's the area? Area is 100 times 20, which is 2,000. Okay. Which is 2,000 times. What's H? H is the distance from the centroid. So, it, so it's H is the distance from the centroid down to the which is how much? It is 100 oh, minus 10. So it's times 90 squared. Did you get that? Going a bit fast here. Because this is just revision. Okay. The area is 100 times 20, which is 2,000. And what's H? H is the distance from the centroid of the element to the centroid of the whole cross-section. So from there to there is 100 minus 10, which is 90 squared. And there's two of them. Okay. Plus element number two. It's B D Q double twelve. What's B? B is eight. Eight times D. D is the distance from there to there. So what's the distance? It is two hundred minus fourteen. What's two hundred minus fourteen? So it's one sixty cubed over twelve plus the area. What's the area? The area is eight times one forty. But H for element number two sit at sits at exactly at the same position as the center of the whole cross section. So this bit here is zero. Okay. So now we can work out Rxx for the cross section. So do it, check it against me before you proceed. And you should have gotten three five two six four three five two six four millimeters to the fourth okay so let's see we now know this we now know this and we know this okay therefore we can put this all into the formula make if the subject of the formula and find the answer okay so check my answer i'm gonna just just give us more space on the board quickly right so if so therefore if I'm going to leave it green. If is equal to M, the moment that A, multiplied by Y over Rxx. What's the moment that A? is 24 kilonewton meters. Be careful, be careful, be careful. It's kilonewton meters. Convert all forces and areas and lengths to newtons and millimeters. So, the very first lesson in the plow mechanics, generally this year, we need to convert kilonewton meters to newton millimeters. We multiply by 10 to the power 6. There we go. If you get it wrong, the answer is going to be wrong. Okay. 24 times 10 to the power 6 multiplied by y. What's y? y is the distance from there to that's the over 2 is 100 over ixx, which is all of that which we just found. So it's 35. Two six four thousand. Check your answer to see that you get the same thing as I did, and we got I should got sixty eight point oh six. It's a stress. So what is it? Newtons per millimeters squared. There we go. Okay. So the section is an I section. This the x, x axis that's always horizontal. It has a span L of 4 meters, which is 4,000 millimeters. It carries a UDL along its whole length of 3 kilonewtons per meter. From that, I was able to work at the maximum moment at the support, which was 24 kilonewton meters, or 24 times 10 to the power 6 newton millimeters. And from the given dimensions there, I could work at Rxx, like we normally did in section properties, which was 35, 264, not, 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 millimeters to the fourth. Why there? 
because it's symmetrical about the x x axis, y is equal to d over 2, so it's 200 over 2, which is 100. I made f the subject of the formula, f is equal to m y over i. There's the four, I put all the values in there. So the maximum stress that the beam undergoes under these conditions for that load and that span of those dimensions is the maximum stress is equal to 68.06 newtons per millimeter squared. Okay, people. So, um, that is the end of example number two. I think I might start you off with example number three and just give you a quick start and then you're on your own. And that's pretty much it for the theory of elastic bending.